And so speaking to people wanting to change things, um, the Quaker Oats brand and PepsiCo wants to remove the Aunt Your Mama uh, brand and logo. Also, Uncle Ben's too. Yeah, Uncle Ben. I was like, wow, Uncle Ben too? Damn. I, right. I kind of call that. Oh, this Butterworth also. What does Butterworth do? Like, <laughs> and I just know she was black. And they they want to, she didn't do nothing. They just want to get rid of her too. And, and so it, Oh, excuse me. It, it it made me ask the question when everybody is changing things, like we want to change the lingo, we want to do this, we want to do that. But I don't recall anybody ever being offended by Aunt Your Mama. If they were, it was probably in the earlier days when she actually wore the scarf and they right. had phrases like, mm-hmm, honey, these pancakes show in. Yeah, now that shit was wild. Yeah. That yeah. shit was wild. It was like that probably up until... And this is based off this history. I wasn't around. Probably based off, it probably was like that. It, it, the product been around for 120, 30 years. Yeah, it uh, it was introduced in 1893 and portrayed by Nancy Green, a formerly enslaved woman. Yeah, so Jim Crow shit basically the start of that. So it, it, they didn't change the scarf and all of that shit. I was just saying until maybe like the 70s. Right. So that that was the image of the the brand for like the first 50, 60 years. You know, for, for our generation, they what they did, they strung her. She wasn't fat anymore. Yeah. They had on her head. They took that fucking scarf off, and they took the catchphrases off. So to us, Aunt your Mama just looks like somebody's uh, kind of healthy grandma. Right. And, uh, we, we, you know, we didn't look at it that way. Wait, but, yeah, I, like, look, I never took offense to it because here's the thing, right? We, as black people, we talk about inclusion, right? Like, we want to see our faces in, in, in TV shows and be represented so um, our kids or our grandkids or whoever can feel like I can be that person too. Now, when you get inclusion in certain things, and I, I said this back then about the, the whole uh, Black Little Mermaid thing, it's like inclusion isn't always a good thing because it's just like, all right, we gave you a Black Mermaid. You see what I'm saying? Like you gave somebody something and they're going to hold that over your head. Like we gave you this. So you yeah. should be happy with it as opposed to, I earned this. I deserve to be here. Because, yeah. I mean, they can either not put you in something at all or put you in a stereo role. Like, if you ever watch Latinos, they only get gangster roles, sexy sexy Latina role, uh, Mexican cartel shit, or they, they're cutting somebody's dress. That's the only roles they get on television, really. Yeah. And we always, at the beginning of those times, Black people either was somebody's maid, uh, somebody's butler, you know, those type of house Negro type of, and that's why a lot of black folks didn't even watch that shit. They just watched, they'd rather watch John Wayne and the white people than watch their own people doing some shucking and jiving shit. It was easier to watch Clint Eastwood than to watch Mammy. You know what I'm mm saying? -hmm. A lot of black folks, that's why they would rather watch the white people than to watch themselves be degraded for entertainment. But right. and you know, change the answer, Mama, ain't gonna change nothing though. No, it isn't because so the the relatives of the woman, so the woman that was on the, the recent bottle, her name was uh, Lillian Richard. Now her relatives are not in support of the rebranding because if they rebranded, that means that whatever little bit of royalties they were given to the family for this woman will be diminished. Now, um, Lillian Richard was recruited to work for Quaker Oats in the 1920s. Now in the 1920s, there was no jobs for black people, especially black women. So for that's like almost breaking a color barrier. Like <laughs> it might have been, it might have been like you you gotta play the the shucking and driving, or she might have not had to do any shucking and driving. But for a time where they weren't hiring black people and for this woman to stand up and be like, yo, I I'll I'll take this job. Like, let me be the brand because maybe she had the foresight of inclusion. Maybe if my people see me, they'll 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 want to get into this type of thing. Or this is the the opening doors for black people, black and brown people, people of color to be um, in the in media. You know, the yeah. earlier days of media. Mm -hmm. And yeah. and her her family ain't happy about it, and I I, I feel them. Well, you, that, that check and checks is about to be dead. Yeah, I'm sure those were nice checks too. Yeah, and they've been living off that for the last, I didn't know that was that long, 1920s, yeah. 
Yeah, I when I when I read it too, I was like, God, I thought it was. I'm like, hold up, 18, 1893, when the Emancipation Proclamation was signed. That's when they came out with goddamn syrup. Coincidentally, huh? Hmm. <laughs> the the funny part too is, you know, I people are people are in an uproar about the fact that they're removing this woman or this this logo, but nobody's upset at the fact that it's not real syrup. Like, yeah, but that, that, that too. But I should. We should be more upset that they had a black woman as a cover of this pancake franchise or whatever you want to call it for all these years, and didn't own any of the shit. Yeah, didn't own the name, didn't own the nothing. That she was an employee. The first lady was a former slave who worked for God knows how much her wages were, and then this lady, you know, they they, they paid her. She was an employee. And it's right. like, I can see if it was a, a fictional character, like Mr. Clean, you know, yep. this is a real character. Like, you, this, this should, it should have been a black brand. You know what I mean? Yeah, unfortunately, it, it wasn't. I I just found it beyond me. I'm like, uh, y'all know this isn't real syrup, right? Like, and I'm not big on, like, sugars like that. So it didn't really bother me. I was like, you know, I, whatever. I didn't care. But when I saw people being um up in arms because nobody was really looking at the surface they were like oh they're removing the face and some people were like yeah because it has um racial undertones and it was based off of this character and so that we know but there was people a family actually lived off of this and now they're they're going to take away from this family yeah they, they fucked yeah america 